Hey, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today I've got the new Malkunig GH1 retail coffee grinder in front of me. Now this is a fairly no frills kind of grinder. It's mainly meant for retail use. So if you're grinding bags of coffee for your customers or uh, larger bags for shop use, that sort of thing, that's really where this grinder is going to excel. This would be a perfect grinder to have in the shop for you know whenever your customers are buying a retail bag of your coffee and they like it ground for home, you can throw it in this guy and it'll take care of it in a real quick jiffy. Now up top we've got a 4.4 pound hopper uh, with this nice big plexiglass door. Uh, we have a finger guard on the inside, um, but plenty of room in here to dump you know, a very large bag of coffee in if you want to do, maybe you're doing a large batch of cold brew and you need a ground pretty quick, it'll be great for that. But like I said, those you know, one pound, 12 ounce bags for your customers, the retail bags, it'll also make very short work of those. Uh, we have a three stage switch up here. It has an off and on and a run setting. and You'll notice it's basically in the on position right now. The off locks, the on locks, and then the run is actually a, a momentary switch, so it's spring-loaded. Um, in order to have the run sort of kick on, you need to have a bag locked onto the chute because there's a, a little depressor bar uh, in the back, so it needs that bag to push the bar and let it know to run, and the grinder will run as long as that bar is depressed. Um, so that's convenient because that means once you're done grinding, you can just pull the bag off and the grinder will shut itself off for you. Uh, now we have a nice big dial on the front. Uh, you'll notice that I have two distinct sets of settings, and that's because there are two detent plates that you can use with this grinder. Um, they're labeled here as self-serve and professional. The black one is self-serve, the blue inner ring is professional. Now there are nine settings for the self-serve detent plate, and that's what we have installed here. And the whole gr the overall grind range runs from pretty French press coarse to the finer end. They say espresso, we don't recommend trying it for espresso, but if you need a finer grind for whatever you're brewing, um, you can get that far. Um, we just don't recommend for espresso because there's not enough really resolution to actually dial in your shots um, should you need it. We'd recommend something a little bit higher end uh, for that purpose. Um, but there is a spare detent plate um, to get those extra, eight, uh, well, up to 18 settings for the professional range. So should you need a little bit more resolution, you know, say you find yourself between a five and a six while you're grinding coffee for your batch brews or something like that. Um, you can get that extra resolution with that second plate, which is very easy to install. You just take the handle off and you install it in the back of the handle. Uh, down below, like I said, there's this uh, basically a bag clamp style chute. Uh, it does have the depressor bar and there's a nice snug fit back here. So all you really need to do is shove the bag up and it'll be held in place, whether it's uh, a retail bag or a larger wholesale style, or maybe just a five pound bag, like I said, if you're doing cold brew or something like that. We've got a very strong uh, spring-loaded knocker to knock all your chaff and excess grinds loose after each grinding session. And then we also have a front plate that's adjustable and you can loosen or tighten these screws as needed uh, so you can get a nice wide spout or more shallow narrow one uh, depending on what your needs may be. Also very helpful when you need to get a brush up under there and brush it out and clean it. Down below we have a removable stainless steel grinds tray, very convenient to uh, remove toss out your grinds, give it a little brush, and throw it back in place. Um, now back up here we have 85 millimeter flat steel burrs. They're very big burrs. Um, they spin at pretty high RPMs and we have a 550 watt motor behind it. So you're talking about maybe one to two pounds a minute at the maximum. At those finer settings you're probably maybe a, a half pound uh, per minute. But in that drip range we're looking at pretty, a pretty good one pound per minute average. Um, our experience is that you probably get maybe a pound and a half on the coarser end, uh, depending on the coffees that you're using. Um, but it wouldn't be too crazy to say that you could maybe get two pounds per minute if you are grinding very coarse and have the right kind of beans running through it. Um, also included with this grinder is an accessory kit. You get uh, a couple of screwdrivers and a brush in here, and then also, like I said, these detent plates. So this is the professional detent plate. This has 18 detent um, holes, uh, and as I said, all you really need to do is take off this handle and you can reinstall uh, this plate instead of the self-serve or vice versa as needed, and you have all the tools you need to do that included with the grinder. So that is the GH1 retail batch grinder. Uh, again, very, very good uh, grinder to put in your cafe grinding those retail bags of coffee. Um, could use it for batch, you might need to kind of finagle a way to get the spout to work for you to grind into your filters or into another container to dump into your filters, but um, sure a little ingenuity will go a long way there. 
But overall, very, very nice product from, uh, from Malkonig, and it's actually Malkonig USA's first product uh, in, under their name rather than Malkonig Germany. So there you have it, the GH1 grinder. Thanks for watching.